Bright Station. I called it Bright Star before. I had an aberration, so I do apologise. <laughs> Maybe because it was making stellar gains in London. That's the confusion there. Because the UK IT group confirmed that it's won a series of technological and marketing agreements with the world's number one chip maker, Intel. Now, under the deal, the companies will jointly develop software solutions built on Bright Station's applications and Intel-based servers. Well, joining us now for more is the CEO of Bright Station, Dan Wagner. Dan, thanks very much for joining us in the studio. I mean, My this pleasure. is quite a nice validation of your technology, this deal with Intel, isn't it? Yeah, well, we've always said uh, that the technology that we retain following the sale of our content businesses was world-class in their respective fields. Uh, we have e-commerce technologies within our Sparza group and knowledge management internet infrastructure technologies within our smart logic group and both of those businesses have been seriously endorsed today by the intel range of agreements right now i mean to because a lot of people get go they confused by technology and uh, you know they think well i vaguely understand it but you know they're not quite sure so they see intel buying it, it must be good how is yours different from a lot of other uh, similar products out there in the market well, I mean, you know, there's, there's always uh, uh, comparisons to be made between different software packages that are in the marketplace for the sort of thing that we're doing. Um, but at the high end, which is what Smart Logic provides, uh, tools that power uh, internet search technologies and websites like Yell.com, which is one of uh, um, Smart Logic's customers, for example, you know, at that level, it's more about, about how the customer wants to use it and, and also the level of the, the type of search that they're, they're wishing to deploy. So in this case, uh, there's a handful of companies, Autonomy being one, that we compete with and uh, we feel that ours are obviously better. I mean, obviously we would feel that, um, but I think it's a matter of how the customer wishes to use the technology now, more. Dan, we've got, sorry, Mark out in the newsroom. I know, Mark, you've got a question for Dan, haven't you? Yeah, so I wonder whether, firstly, you could um, tell us how long you expect the pilot with Intel to last for. And secondly, I wonder whether you could elaborate on the um, engineering resources that Intel are going to put into um, Smart Logic. Okay, uh, first of all, on the pilot, uh, essentially what Mark's referring to is the uh, rollout of our technology across the northern European sales operations of Intel prior to worldwide rollout uh, of the knowledge management suite of technologies. And essentially, a pilot involves uh, just trying to tweak the software so that uh, uh, you know, it's ready for everyone in the company to, to use. So we estimate a couple of months at most uh, to tweak it ready for full rollout. Yeah, I wonder, I mean, because let's face it, I mean, the, the, the company, Bright Station, has been through various name changes and various incarnations, as you already described. So this is quite a long time in coming. I wonder if the timing's a bit unfortunate because we are looking at the possibility of a downturn and therefore whether people are going to want to be investing in this kind of IT. Well, actually, we found uh, that the uh, uh, sales in our business have been very strong and in the Q Q4 over Q3, we saw over 25% growth in the smart logic division alone. So we're not seeing any slowdown in IT spending for the sort of cost-effective tools that we're offering that actually assist in productivity within organisations. And I think there is a slowdown elsewhere, but not in... Not in uh, cost-efficient tools such as the ones that we're offering. Dan, I wanted to, to bring in uh, other guest Ian t today. I mean, Ian, we're, with the Bright Station, we've also got some IPOs on the back, but it's not exactly a very good environment, is it, at the moment? It, it, it's not the greatest environment at the moment. Obviously, there's going to be uh, a reduction in the number of IPOs that uh, there were last year. Uh, but they still offer, I mean, from a, from a trading point of view, IPOs always are, are interesting and they always offer opportunities. Hedge fund managers often, the typical thing we do is we, we buy the company being bought, we sell the company doing, doing, doing the buying. I think just generally looking at the market, and it would be interesting to hear your comments, Dan, it does seem that the, um, the, the, the technology stocks who are offering goods and services are basically doing badly because they're just inexpensive and inefficient and not very good business models ways of purchasing goods for retail. But the sort of people like yourselves who are really sort of selling technology within the industry itself, if you've got quality stuff, um, that does seem to differentiate you from, from a lot of the others. That, I mean, we've mentioned some others that's buy it before who, who, who've, got, who've got problems. Yeah, I think that um, uh, you're absolutely right, and this, this climate actually uh, sorts the wheat from the chaff. It really begins to focus on those companies that have strong propositions in fast growth markets, and I think the market is very selective and very brutal to other companies that may have strong propositions but aren't actually fa flavour of the month. Uh, we're very fortunate in both the businesses that we discussed today, uh, having been picked by Intel, I think as demonstrated by the market gains in our own stock, are actually marketplaces that uh, show great promise. 
and uh, Intel's endorsement of those technologies have further enhanced our credibility as real contenders in those space. Dan, talking about brutal markets, we've only got, we've run out of time basically, but Smart Logic, Sparza, they're supposed to be coming to the markets. Are they still going to come in this environment? Well, certainly Smart Logic is gearing up for an IPO uh, this year. You know, we're, we're, we're focusing on that and it's obviously subject to market conditions. But uh, we recently appointed a chairman, David Jeffries, who was chairman of the National Grid, and uh, we're confident of, uh, of its opportunity in this market. Okay, Dan. Well, thanks very much for joining us. Dan Wagner, the CEO of Bright Station. Well, let's look at some more IPO news now. The German software firm Ubis has pulled plans to...